Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Steel Donut Collective. My name is Bob, and with me today I have Connor. Hello there. And today we're looking at a story that we actually mentioned first on a podcast. Which podcast was that? That was, uh... Uh, I don't remember which one. One of the podcasts. We were talking about, uh, something. Violence, I believe. I think it was, I think it was violence. Um, but this is a story we talked about then, and now we're actually covering on the channel. So this is called Improvise by William Callahan. Uh, yes. And its description should keep you intrigued. Yes. Uh, would you like me to read that? Or? Yeah, you, go yeah. ahead. <clears throat> read it because it's a book. Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. That's the one criteria people need. Yeah, and it's only 430 words, so it's a very short book. Yeah, yeah, it's more like a pamphlet. <laughs> yeah. Read it, because it's only a pamphlet and will only take like two minutes of your time. Yeah. That would actually be a better description. So I'll, let's just take go it away. This. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's rated T. I just want to bring that up. Mm. Yeah. Improvise. <gasps> My knees are aching, they won't give up. Bad start. I mean, I mean, all I did was accidentally run into their officer. Uh. <laughs> their one officer. Hey, can you leave that, leave the officer alone. Yeah, maybe it's a really small town. Now they're chasing me around New York, never mind. Okay. I'm running in and out of alleyways, across traffic, and through construction sites. Yeah, he's like he's got the idea of like all these scenes in his head, but he doesn't want to describe <laughs> them, so he just lists them yeah. off for us. In, out of alleyways, across traffic, through construction sites. He's in a library, yeah, and everyone's telling him to shush re- while he's parkouring over bookshelves. My only frame of reference is that first scene from the Casino Royale reboot. <laughs> yes. How are they keeping up? I've tried to get to high ground, but they're just around the corner. I see a warehouse door half open. I take my chances and slide under the door and shut it. Slide under the door? Yeah. I guess it was, like, one of those roll-up doors. Um, uh, uh, okay. That maybe mean, that, maybe uh, the warehouse maybe... door is hanging beads. <laughs> I slam the hanging bead shut and the officers pound on it yeah. going, open up! <laughs> open up, you piece of shit! I'm sitting in a moldy pile of blankets. I'll assume that's like the British spelling Yeah, or I think so. I can hear the officers outside, then out of the corner of my eye, I can see a building next to the warehouse. Uh, it's... Uh, uh, yeah, windows. I don't know. Okay. It's blue and white. It's a police station. How did you not know you were heading to the police station? I mean, he's been running blindly through New York. Okay. Not New York City, just New York. Yeah, all over. He checked the this entire like, state. This is set in like Buffalo. Yeah. You know. Upstate. Yeah. They're talking about me. I feel like I should run, so I check all the exits. I'm surrounded. Then I hear a officer. Tell the leading officer to bring in the search dogs. Search dogs? They know where you are. (laughs) They just have Uh, to walk inside. I don't know. They need to send the dogs. They need the... The the dogs need to go get exercise. I guess, yeah. Uh, What a brutal and cruel unfair treatment (laughs) to send the search dogs after someone who you already know where they are. Yeah. At this moment, I start to climb the selves as <gasps> about six dogs come in the warehouse. Holy shit, that's so, like, metaphysical. <laughs> Alright. Alright. So, paint this scene in your head, okay? Okay, I close my eyes, I'm imagining He's it. stuck in the warehouse. There's search Cops dogs. Cops are surrounding him. He's climbing There's search selves. dogs. He's climbing selves. <laughs> He's stuck in the warehouse. If yeah. he gets out of the warehouse, he can escape, right? Yeah. I'm on top of the shelves. Okay. I have a stupid idea, but how worse can things get? I mean, there are a lot of worse. Corded. You could just die. Like, they could just shoot yeah. you. I slowly climb down the shelves and sneak out of the warehouse what? to try and get handcuffs and two airbags from a cop car. Wait, wait, wait whoa, hold on. Whoa, what? Is, wait. When I... Huh? Can I... When I get the equipment, I crawl back into the warehouse. What? But one of the dogs spotted me. Huh? But I stand my ground and pull out the handcuffs. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. 
He got into a warehouse. He was trapped. He climbed up the shelves. Yes. His next yes. idea, I'm going to completely disregard what I just did and climb down the shelves. Yes. And then sneak out of the warehouse. But instead of leaving yes. and leaving them like wondering where he is, he gets handcuffs somehow from the cop car and two airbags. And airbags. And How the airbags, hell do yeah. you get airbags out of a cop car? Like, uh, like, are you a mechanic? Very carefully. Very carefully. Maybe he thinks know. the airbags are something you can just, like, you reach under the steering wheel and you just pull and it just comes right out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you reach in the glove compartment and you get the airbags yeah, it's, out. It's like a flotation device in an airplane, you know? Like, you just stand up and pull it out from under your seat and you're done. But why did he All go right. back in? Because he likes a challenge? I don't know. What? Anyways... The dog runs at me. It's about to lunge at me throat. Oh, at me throat. Lunge at me throat. I grab it is paws and pull them close to a shelf and handcuff the dog to the shelf. What? (laughs) You you do not realize that dogs, I mean, their paws are like. You have the the right to remain silent, Popper. Their paws generally are as wide as their arms, so um, the reason we can use handcuffs on humans is because our wrists are smaller and less, like, less... I don't know why I have to explain this. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Do we need to put up diagrams or some shit? <sighs> just, just put up a picture of a hand and a picture of a paw. A picture of a dog, yeah. And a picture of a dog. And you tell me, does a yeah. dog have human hands? If it does, <laughs> handcuffs will work just fine. Yeah. By the time I'm finished, of course, the other dogs hear me, so I plant an airbag mine, and the dogs are so thick they run over it and they go flying. What? So he stole an airbag from a cop car and then rigged it up as a mine? I guess like a proximity thing, so when the dog runs over it... It it, just pops them up into the air. Pops up and, yeah, tosses them into the air. How wacky. How cartoonish. You handcuff a dog to a shelf and then you plant an airbag mine. Yeah. I remember. And I remember I brought this up in whatever podcast it was. I think it was violence because of the escalation of violence. So based on the two previous events, what kind of tone do you think this story has? I mean, he's been running from the cops nondescript, not really doing anything in detail. Just kind of running around in some wacky fucking Three Stooges-like situation. You know, he sneaks yeah. out and gets back in just fine. He handcuffs a dog to a shelf and he launches other dogs with an airbag. So do you think like do, do you, you think, see this in an Airbud sequel? Yeah, do you think do you think Curly and Moe will show up next? Yeah, yeah. All right. So next Or maybe Jerry Toppler. <sighs> then there's three dogs left. I find a splintered piece of wood and hit one right in the face, but it breaks on impact, so I have to find something else for the two dogs. Um so that's a little more violent. That's, yeah, kind of a lot more violent. Kind of a lot more violent. I'm waiting for final two dogs to line up. Here's my chance. I push the shelf over. I hear a loud crunch. Jesus. Finally, I'm alone, but I hear a tin hit the ground. Uh. So oh. you broke a, a, a splintered piece of wood on one's face. Didn't mention its fate. It might have been injured, but okay. But you definitely killed these two. Yeah. He definitely, because he's alone now, and he hears a loud crunch. Which, by the way, yeah. uh, you bumped into a cop, but I can get why they would be so mad at you if your normal reaction to being chased by police dogs isn't get on the ground and re- not resist arrest, but instead to kill police dogs. You handcuff one to a shelf, you toss, launch another one with an airbag, and then you break a splintered piece of wood over another one and drop a shelf on to another one. one. So then, I'm I uh, but I hear Tin hit the ground. I turn around and I see the final dog. But I'm you so said tired you were alone. Do- I'm so tired. The dog runs, so I just kick it and break its neck. Christ! Yeah. Holy shit! Escalation right there. Then the police walk in, and I run out of the warehouse and hear a bang. I feel a pain in my stomach. I look down and see a pipe. Whoa! What? Uh, so he's running. And they shoot him with a pipe gun. <laughs> it sh- it's, it's launching huge steel pipes 
that spear him through the stomach. That's the only. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I to know, be I'm fair, confused, the dude yeah. killed the dude killed three dogs, minimum. Yeah. So. Yeah, minimum. I mean, fuck you, dude. Uh, yeah. So I turn around and see a officer on the ground. Why on the ground? The end. What? But you said so, it yeah, was a that book. Went from, that went from mild, car, almost cartoonish, you know, of him just running around, the police chasing him. Yeah. You know, handcuffing a dog to a shelf, tossing one with an airbag, to then breaking a piece of wood over one's face, dropping a shelf on another one, and then breaking a dog's neck before getting shot by the cops. With a pipe gun. With a pipe gun. Like, that escalated quickly. That's all I can say. Christ, what? I'm glad the story never <laughs> continued. But Mandary, <laughs> Mandary on chapter one wrote, Great so far, colon D. Yeah. Lies. Yeah, mm, lies. I... Well... What? Yeah, that was improvised. I... Mm. And you know what's the crazy part about this whole thing? This... The story's called Improvise, but this entire video was scripted. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We have yeah. links in the description to our public Discord and our, uh, our Amino. And uh, uh, submit stuff to us. Hang out with us yes. there. Send us your requests or just hang out with us. Yeah. All right. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.